This conference will now be recorded. Hello everyone. <clears throat> In this video, I am going to show you how to hide the personal, personalized dashboard icon from the user portal or manager portal. So in the Pega 8 version onwards, there is an icon to customize the dashboard. So whatever the widgets, if you want, we can include it to customize the dashboard. So log in into the Dev Studio. Launch the user portal or manager portal. Here click on dashboard. See, there is an icon see this one personalize the dashboard so i don't want to keep this icon to all my business users that means i want to hide this icon once the users are logged into this user portal or manager portal so how to do this how to do this even i am also not aware of uh, how to hide this icon but uh, i have a, some plan or a procedure see let me tell you one thing we can easily explore the things in pega by tracing or debugging the things so now here also i am following the same pattern because even i, I too don't know how to hide this icon but uh, i have a one mechanism so for example uh, first identify the section of this first identify the section of this icon so for example when i click on this rule open this rule from the dev studio there is the dashboard header so there is a dashboard header click on this one or convert to full section editor or if you want just click on that icon there is a condition for visibility px user dashboard personalized allowed so open that visibility condition that means open that when rule px personalized px is user dashboard personalized allowed when rule open that when rule okay i am opening the when rule so in this when rule just explore the conditions go to the advanced what are the conditions px user dashboard dot py in personalized mode not equal to true py is mobile phone evaluates to false py hide user dashboard personalized button equal to evaluates to false or px has a dashboard privilege evaluates to true so you can modify or you can open any one of these when rules and you can make it as a true or you can make it as a false so that this condition this when rule will be set it as a false so that we can easily hide that when rule so now what i'm going to do is px has a dashboard privilege let me open this when rule because this when rule is evaluates to true because currently if this when rule is evaluates to true then the total condition will be true then the cut icon is getting displayed but if i want to make it as a false of any one of this when rule then that visibility condition is not satisfied then that personalize the dashboard icon will be in the hide mode so let me show you let me open this px has a dashboard privilege now what is the condition just explore the condition pega rules default have a privilege px dashboard system user dashboard okay so this is the condition that means uh, if any user having a privilege having a privilege to this system user dashboard class then the condition will be true now let me open the system user dashboard class i mean how to open these privileges how to open these privileges 
how to check whether the current user is having this privilege or not i have a mechanism okay open the access group i don't want to open the privileges open the access group open the sbi apple sys admin role access role because all these privileges and access role to objects are maintained from the access role only now here search for your class a system user dashboard search for your class system user dashboard okay now see this one system user dashboard open this class and by default this class is having the read instances write instances etc because all these values are set to 5 that means uh, if user is having an access to production by default user is having an access to production because this value is set it to 5 now come down there is an option called it as a privileges so listing a privilege with no production level define access to the user with this role now what i am doing is i am setting this role as a zero so that means uh, i am setting this value px dashboard privilege is set it to zero that means he don't have a privileges in the development environment to the production environment from the development environment to the production environment he doesn't have a px dashboard privileges click on submit but we cannot uh, submit here you just save as this if you want you can just save as this rule okay anyhow already this rule is in checkout mode click on checkout now open the system user dashboard now set the same privilege open the same privilege and just make it as zero click on submit now click on save check in px dashboard updated privilege updated okay give the proper comments now launch the manager portal or user portal again now go to the dashboard now see by default you are not able to see that personalized personalized dashboard icon because you have removed the px dashboard privilege to this user not only this user because the users who are having an access to this access group this access role those users are unable to see that personalized dashboard icon i hope you understand how to hide the personalized dashboard icon thank you